It's not weird, okay? This is normal. What, what, do you, what is there to look at? Yo, what's up? How's it going? That's what's up. <laughs> In the totem short story, we have... Bro, whatever. I'm sitting here talking about the totem. A short story about racism and an allegory for how the First Nations people have been treated in Canada. And I'm standing specifically here because here used to stand a totem pole. And while it was taken down for reasons of racism, it was taken down for, for being racist towards indigenous people. And I thought it was just important to stand here to talk about how our cultures have changed since back in the day when, uh, when totem was written and what the things they were talking, what the things the, the t story talked about actually happened. In the totem short story, we hear about a totem pole that is growing inside of an art gallery. And uh, they decide to cut it down and remove it and place it in the basement next to the furnace. And they continually remove it every time it grows back. Uh, and they view it as a nuisance. And it's an allegory for talking about how the First Nations people here in Canada were viewed as a nuisance and something that has needed to be cut away and removed and just placed down in the basement. This is a feeling that's existed for a long time. For, for, me, for decades and decades, and it's still even around a little bit today, although not as prevalent and definitely not as socially acceptable. Okay, so we've changed locations, uh, and now we're standing in front of this totem pole right here. Uh, and so you might be able to notice that, unlike the other one, this one hasn't been taken down. Uh, and so the other one was, was taken down because they felt it was racist because it was built by the kids who went to Hume School in the 1970s. They designed it, they carved it. Uh, and so this one right here, this totem pole, uh, is a replica of one that, that's in Victoria, in a park in Victoria. And it was made by some guy named Gordon Lloyd Weber. He died a few years ago. Uh, yeah, I don't know, so that'd be a nice location. Anyway, so back to totem, the short story. Uh, we could view, you know, chopping down uh, the totem, the totem poles as uh, chopping down the totem pole. It appears in the art gallery as an allegory, also for chopping down, chopping off the hair of uh, First Nations kids at residential schools. That was a way to strip them of their culture, uh, kind of you know break them down and uh, kind of yeah break them down and kind of rip their culture from them. You know, the cutting down and removal of the uh, of the totem totem pole in in the totem short story could also be and hiding it in the basement could kind of be in reference to kind of trying to hide first nations people and trying to kind of push them away and hide them hide them away from the rest of canada by putting them in residential schools and forcing them into uh reserves that are in rural areas so you know no one else has to see them and that kind of stuff